We're on the uh, Kubota stand. It's been quite an exciting day, hasn't it? Because we had a, we missed it, but there's been a big unveiling. But the result of that unveiling is behind us at the moment. And I'm with Tim Yates, who's the sales manager. You told, me two, told me two minutes ago and I've forgotten already. <laughs> um, so it is exciting. We've got a great new machine behind us. Can you just tell us a little bit about it, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the uh, unveiling of the new uh, electric powered zero turn was uh, was the first thing this morning. It's, um, it's, it's the first uh, electric uh, ride-on mower that Kubota have launched into the market and these will be, uh, these will be brought in for sort of sale uh, for 2024. How long has it been in development? Uh, several years. These things do go through a rigorous test process. Um, the first machine I saw and tried would have been around four or five years ago. So it does go through quite a long process uh, in terms of making sure that the technology does what, what it's required to do, but also so as the machine can be tested in the various different seasons and climates where it's going to end up being sold. I heard that about Kubota. You don't just release it and then tweak it after. You make sure everything, every dot's, uh, dots no, dot is, I is dotted and T is crossed. Look, I'm losing it. Before you start. So that's what's happened with this case. Yeah, uh, absolutely that. The, the, the Japanese approach to it is to, to aim to get it right first time every time. And, and the test process is just that. It uh, sometimes seems quite long, but it, but it is absolutely necessary in order that we're, uh, we're sort of confident to put our, our brand on it and sell it into the market. And that market, is it um, local authorities? Is it where, where are you aiming to? Obviously, when it's electric, it's quiet, so you can do, you can do the hospitals, you can do the schools, but tell me where you're hoping to sell it. Yeah, there's, there's certain customers who've been asking for a quiet but also eco-friendly product for a period of time. Uh, this machine, I would expect it to go into the professional sector, so it could be contractors perhaps working around schools or where, where noise is a, is a sensitive thing. But also there's organisations and local authorities that, uh, you know, the, the, um, having a, an eco-friendly machine is high on their list of priorities. So they'll be the people we're speaking to about this machine. And at what stage are we? Are we if I was to put, give, hand you a cheque today, when would I get one? Yeah, it'd be early next year for, uh, for, for mass delivery. And this is the first you were saying, first Kubota ride on. Obviously, we're expecting more down the line. When can that be? Yeah, well, actually, Scott, surrounding us is a couple of other battery products that we're, that we're looking at. So, yeah, we've got zero turn here. Behind you is, uh, is an electric tractor, and behind me is an electric wheeled loader. So we are moving in that direction of broadening the range of, uh, of electric-powered machinery. And fossil fuel, is that yesterday, or are you still doing that as well? No, look, I think, I think they, in, in the future, certainly the midterm, there's going to be a blend of power sources. Um, that's certainly what we expect. And perhaps battery lends itself to some tools, but, but maybe not others. So I would say certainly for, from what we know today and technology available today, it's going to be a blend of power sources. Now, I know that the, the name Kubota brings people to the stand irrespective, but what's the reaction been to the people who have been passing by and coming onto the stand already today? Um, very good, and, and pe people um, very much welcome the fact that we're there's a, a, a main player manufacturer in the industry moving forwards with alternative power sources. Um, people have been asking for it for a number of years, particularly at this show, so it's nice to come here and actually show what we're doing to answer the requests that we've received. Well, I know I've taken you away from the sales pitch that you can give to people. Thank you very much for a little bit of your time and good luck for the rest of the show and the rest of the year and going forward with the new, uh, new powered battery machines. Scott, thank you. Pleasure as always. Good man, thank you.